December 31st. Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible. Malachi chapters 3 and 4 from the Old Testament. I am about to send my messenger, who will clear the way before me. Indeed, the Lord you are seeking will suddenly come to his temple, and the messenger of the covenant, whom you long for, is certainly coming, says the Lord, who rules over all. Who can endure the day of his coming? Who can keep standing when he appears? For he will be like a refiner's fire, like a launderer's soap. He will act like a refiner and purifier of silver, and will cleanse the Levites and refine them like gold and silver. Then they will offer the Lord a proper offering. The offerings of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to the Lord as in former times in years past. I will come to you in judgment. I will be quick to testify against those who practice divination, those who commit adultery, those who break promises, and those who exploit workers, widows, and orphans who refuse to help the immigrant and in this way show they do not fear me, says the Lord who rules over all. Since I, the Lord, do not go back on my promises, you, sons of Jacob, have not perished. From the days of your ancestors you have ignored my commandments and have not kept them. Return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord who rules over all. But you say, how should we return? Can a person rob God? You indeed are robbing me, but you say, how are we robbing you? In tithes and contributions. You are bound for judgment because you are robbing me. This whole nation is guilty. Bring the entire tithe into the storehouse so that there may be food in my temple. Test me in this matter, says the Lord who rules over all, to see if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you a blessing until there is no room for it all. Then I will stop the plague from ruining your crops and the vine will not lose its fruit before harvest, says the Lord who rules over all. All the nations will call you happy, for you indeed will live in a delightful land, says the Lord, who rules over all. You have criticized me sharply, says the Lord, but you ask, how have we criticized you? You have said, it is useless to serve God. How have we been helped by keeping his requirements and going about like mourners before the Lord, who rules over all? So now we consider the arrogant to be happy. Indeed, those who practice evil are successful. In fact, those who challenge God escape. Then those who respected the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord took notice. A scroll was prepared before him in which were recorded the names of those who respected the Lord and honored his name. They will belong to me, says the Lord who rules over all. In the day when I prepare my own special property, I will spare them as a man spares his son who serves him. Then once more you will see that I make a distinction between the righteous and the wicked, between the one who serves God and the one who does not. For indeed the day is coming, burning like a furnace, and all the arrogant evildoers will be chaff. The coming day will burn them up, says the Lord who rules over all. It will not leave even a root or branch. But for you who respect my name, the sun of vindication will rise with healing wings, and you will skip about like calves released from the stall. You will trample on the wicked, for they will be like ashes under the soles of your feet on the day which I am preparing, says the Lord, who rules over all. Remember the law of my servant Moses, to whom at Horeb I gave rules and regulations for all Israel to obey. Look, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the great and terrible day of the Lord arrives. He will encourage fathers and their children to return to me, so that I will not come and strike the earth with judgment. God, it's interesting that in Malachi, more than any other book in the Bible, the Lord who rules over all is seen. It's seen quite a bit in the prophetic books, of course, but in Malachi, over 40% of the time it's used is in that book. 
How crazy is that? The Lord who rules over all is something that's incredibly important for all of us to recognize and more importantly understand understand with everything inside of us back then the northern kingdom was destroyed and the southern kingdom was being destroyed by all the multitudes of the armies of Assyria King Sennacherib even challenged King Hezekiah jokingly saying I'm going to give you 2,000 horses but do you even think you can find riders for them your remnant was small painfully small they were hyper aware that they were either all alone or they were going to rely and depend upon the Lord who rules over all very similar to when Elisha in 2nd Kings says God open their eyes so that they can see what's really going on here and and suddenly you allowed them to see all of the unseen all that is truly fighting for us on any given fight on any given day that you the God of angelic armies are constantly fighting for us so the Lord who rules over all has to do with our understanding of sovereignty our fear of your power control that we stand in awe of the love that you have for us I'm not saying we understand even the smallest amount of what you do for us or who you are but that we stand in front of you humbled that you are the Lord who rules over all this ending part of Malachi talks about tithing and I think tithing has a lot to do in direct correlation with how we feel about you are you truly the Lord who rules over all our response to that shows up in how we follow through in your commandment to tithe to give back only 10% of all that is yours already everything we have is yours the clothes we have on the computer we're sitting in front of or the iPad we're looking at the house we live in the food everything is yours including the money that we have in the bank so our relationship to that saying the Lord who rules over all does have a direct correlation to us responding to your command to tithe do we trust you in what you've said the only place in the entire Bible where you say you can test me on this you can test me and see if what I'm saying is the truth but do we truly believe you are we truly ready to give up control <laughs> the illusion that we have control it's very easy to give 10% when everything's going well but what happens when things get tight which is what is happening in Malachi uh, there's definitely a problem with the crops because the rain hasn't come so when money becomes very very small do we trust you enough the Lord who rules over all do we trust you enough to follow through with your command when I sit down and meet with people who are struggling, who've asked to meet over coffee, and I listen to what is happening in their lives, almost always the first question I ask is, how is your tithing? Because I know firsthand how you respond to my tithing or lack thereof, and that you're not messing around with this command that we are to test you and you will provide our needs not our greeds but our needs according to your will for our life many times these people I ask that question to say oh I haven't been giving lately you know money's really tight we've got to pay bills things blah all these excuses excuses I used to make <laughs> as to why I wasn't giving money but what it truly comes down to, the, the statement you have to make if you're being truthful, is I don't trust God enough. I don't trust him enough in his promises. He's not truly the Lord who rules over all, at least not in my heart. See, I know God, there's a direct correlation 
between honoring you through our lives and our commitments to what you've commanded us to do and your response to us, whether through grace and mercy or discipline, all done out of love, but different responses based upon our own heart response to what you've asked us to do. God, I pray for everyone listening right now that if you are the Lord who rules over all in their heart and they wake up every morning and they're trying to be as Christ-like as they can through their words, their deeds, their actions, their thoughts, they may not get everything right. In fact, we won't get everything right. God, I just pray that you're with them, that you continue to teach them, guide them, show them, put people in their lives to help them. God, for the people who you aren't the Lord, who rules over all. God, I pray for their hearts, that they would just turn to you. You are the only answer. I received a beautiful letter today from a girl that's been listening to the videos at Daily Video Bible, and she says, this year I have learned about God from you and am beginning to understand what I have been missing in my life. God, if you are the Lord who rules over all, you rule over all their hearts. If their hearts aren't turned to you, God, they don't understand that. They are missing a huge part of their life. They're missing the whole reason for having a life. God, I just pray according to your will, according to your timing, that you allow them to see the Lord I know. The Lord who is sovereign, who loves me in ways that I can't even explain, who shows me grace and mercy when I don't deserve it, who sacrificed his only son for me, for the forgiveness of sins that I choose to do. God, I want them to learn about the Lord I know, who is in control of everything who reigns sovereign over my heart, my life, and the entire world. I just want everyone to have that peace that you've given me, that peace that passes all understanding from the Lord who rules over all. I pray that the people whose heart isn't turned to you completely yet, who, ha who aren't all in, who haven't humbled themselves before you, who haven't turned their lives over to you, that they would take this one piece out of the Bible that says, we can test you. And I would ask that they test you, God, that they give 10% faithfully for a couple of weeks and see what happens. You have promised to meet our needs. Never once when I have given what you've asked me to, have you ever put me in a situation where I was panicked? You have only overfilled my life with blessings. God, if this is the one place where these people can start and see if, if it's okay for you to come into their life, then allow this one piece of the Bible to be important to them to be the way that they start to see the many facets of this incredible God that I know. Allow them to test you as you promised in the Bible. God, and then I pray for their hearts as they see the truth in your promises of the Lord who rules over all. I just ask that you continue to guide their steps, that you put people in their life to show them this amazing God that I know to teach them, to help guide them in the loving freedom that you have given us. God, I wish the whole world would know my Lord, my Lord who rules over all. I pray all this in your son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen.